Hey guys and gals, Tim here, uh, Spec Technologies. First week of uh, August. Just want to show you what we've put together uh, on this trailer here. It's a customer supply trailer. We did not have this manufactured. It's all aluminum. Um, I do not know all the specifications on it. I know that it's beautiful. It's got a nice hose door, mag wheels, double front doors. He's got an electric uh, jack on the front of this thing. Maybe just some things you might want to have on your trailer once you get your setup. Double doors on the front. They look like they're 48 inches. Just a beautiful trailer. Here we go. We're going to give you a tour of what we put together in this trailer. First thing you see sitting between these double doors is a 30KW single phase John Deere generator. Uh, has a 50 gallon base fuel tank on it pull up to the fuel tank you can fill it up right here pretty simple setup we like to try to keep things simple uh, not very complicated the customer is going to do uh, his own exhaust out through the roof uh, so uh, that's pretty much what's going on with this thing here uh, he brought us uh, 120 volt shore power that we had to do a double manual transfer switch on it so he's got a transfer switch there on the left that's 240 volts. He can either go shore power or he can go generator power. Uh, when he pulls back up to his shop, the panel on the right is a 120 volt uh, manual switch that is also tied into that 240. So he can run this thing a few different ways, uh, keep his heaters on, keep his AC on, keep his lights on, whatever he needs to do. You'll see here we've uh installed a 50 CFM Scholl's refrigerated air dryer, actually manufactured by a company called Beko, B-E-K-O. Uh, very good dryer, takes all of the uh, moisture out of your compressor. We have a 30 CFM, seven and a half horsepower Scholl's compressor that's paired with it, distribution block, and a regulator you see up there in the top right corner. Well, as you'll see as we step up into this trailer, got plenty of space to walk through here, unobstructed, nice pedestrian door, nice wide pedestrian door to get into the back of the trailer. Another nice luxury about this trailer, he had uh, 15,000 BTU AC installed on the roof. Uh, really helps out during the summer days. My guys uh, were much more comfortable working in here, uh, 93, 94 degree Georgia days. Uh, staying cool working on this trailer. If you come in uh, from the back of the trailer, you'll see on the right side we have uh, 150 feet of uh, high pressure 3350 PSI hose. We manufacture here. Uh, we use the Velcro style scuff jacket on it, uh, purple uh, three pin um, thermal coupler wire. And you'll see we've paired this with a Graco Fusion gun. steel professionally manufactured powder coated uh, hose rack. So as we walk in you'll see we already have a kit of foam in here. I think this is uh, half pound foam, open cell foam. These lines here, the small lines, are the return lines coming back from the machine. These are your supply pickup tubes. You notice we do not use drum pumps on this system. We've eliminated uh, a whole problematic system um, that traditional equipment normally has. These pumps, these are uh, Titan uh, pumps. They've been around about 45 years. Um, great pumps. We've actually paired this with a peristaltic lubrication system. We're the first in the industry to use this type of lubrication system. I've not seen this on any other machine ever uh, in the 30 years that I've been doing this. This is a proprietary uh, motor that we use that regulates the speed of the pumps and actually keeps this entire rig on ratio. What happens is the computer program that we put in our system compares the uh, A material to the B material. Whichever material is the thinnest, it slows that pump down. And what that does, it keeps you on a true one-to-one -one ratio. As we move up into the trailer, you see we've supplied the customer a Craftsman toolbox. Uh, you'll see he's bought a couple guns for this rig. He's got boxes of gloves, 
a wheel mounted on the bench. This is a parts kit that we supply. It's got 10 full rebuild kits. Everything's labeled. It's got a full uh, schematic on the front. So you can see all the parts to the gun if you need to order more parts. We stocked his drawers with some tools. Probably not every tool that he's ever going to need, um, but this will keep him out of trouble for the first few jobs. To the left here is a power pack that we build in-house, a five horsepower ball door motor. We use Parker components, um, about a seven, eight gallon hydraulic tank underneath it. We put it on a stand. And this powers, hydraulically powers, the Titan uh, pumps. Moving forward here, uh, the black box on the right is the uh, preheaters. It's got about 12,000 watts of heat in here, gives them about a delta of 60. Um, you can see here, we put a analog gauge just on the outside of the B side of the block so we know exactly what's coming out of this block. These are our pressure gauges, show us our spray pressures and our recirculation lines that go back to uh, the drums, A and B drums in the back of the trailer. All right, here's the brains of the entire system. This runs everything that happens in this trailer. Uh, it is our HMI, which is a touchscreen uh, type application. You'll see we've got a data plug here so you can download your day's work. Uh, on and off button and an emergency power button. Make sure that's out. We'll go ahead and power this up. First thing you'll see as this thing loads up, you'll get our logo. And that buzzing sound are the proprietary uh, valving motors opening up. Here's our pre-screen, our very first landing page. You'll see our temperature here uh, for A side, our temperature for B side. We have resettable stroke counters. We got 103 strokes on A, 108 strokes on B. You can reset that during the course of the day. Make sure your machine's properly calibrating. It tells you exactly what your valves, how open your valves are. It tells you how many gallons you've used during the day. Uh, it tells you your hose amperage, your hose temperature. We can jump over to control. You can turn on your A heater, your hose heat, your B heat. You can set your temperature for whatever temperature you want to set any of those values at. Um, this is your hydraulic motor. It turns that on and off. You can hear that running down here now. See, we've got a thousand psi of pressure. And this turns your auto regulating valves on and off. So, this will be your ratio control valves. On the next page, we have a log page. That shows us flow rate, boom, boom. Temperatures, keeps track of all your temperatures during the course of the day. And also the levels of what you've used out of your drums. This is all resettable, you can reset this. Gallons used, gallons left. All of that stuff data tracks and you can upload it onto a thumb drive right here. And do one more quick walkthrough, really quick. 150 feet of hose, fusion gun, B and A materials. Here's your return lines. These are your pickup tubes that go to the Titan pumps. Proprietary peristaltic pump. Proprietary valving motors that control the speed of the Titan pumps. Nice toolbox for the customer. Hydraulic power pack, heating system, analog gauge, pressure gauges, return valves, and the brains of the system. Matt's going to be uh, demoing this machine, I think, over the weekend. Uh, customer's got a big job up there. So Matt will be talking more about this as he uh, demos the machine. Over to you, Matt.